Hi, this is Joe Bogard with Maps Coaching. Today I'm going to be talking with you about numbers, and specifically numbers pertaining to your business plan. Now before we get started, if you click on the link, you can be able to pull up this sheet so that you can come work along with me. Also what I'm going to be doing is reverse engineering with you guys with the numbers today. So the first thing is, let's say your 2012 business plan is going to be that you want to earn $100,000 income. And by the way, this number can work with any number. If you want to earn $500,000, a million, you can apply this the same way off the sheet. So the first thing we're going to look at after you decide your goal is we're going to go, how many days of the year are you going to work this year? Well, if you look at Gary Keller and Diana Kokoska talk about, is specifically, okay, I'm going to take out the days of vacation, because that's the first thing we always block out. Then number two is you're going to be looking at days of education or seminars that you're going to attend to next year. And the final thing also is going to be looking at your days off that you take during the week. So we're going to just use this number, 265. So we're going to work off of that number for the days that you're going to be working next year. Now when we look at that 265, we know that Gary and Diana always talk about the one thing is that lead generation is three hours. So all we're going to look at is taking three hours times 265 is going to give us 795 hours that, which you're going to be lead generating for the year. So we're going to look at 795 hours of lead generation for the year. Then we're going to say, let's say you average six contacts per hour. So if you take six contacts per hour, then you're going to have it, end up having 4,770 contacts you'll make throughout that year. So now let's go back to your goal, the income goal for 2012, which is $100,000. So let's say your average commissions check is $5,000. Then we know that the number is going to be 20 units that which you're going to close for 2012. Now if we look what Gary Keller talks about in the MREA model, he says that 60% of your listings you should sell and 40% will be buyer side sales. So looking at 60% will give us then 12 listings that we're going to sell this year in 2012 and then obviously you're going to have 8 for the buyer sales. Now if you have a team, obviously then you're going to be having bigger numbers you'll work with and you'll just add that in with your buyer's agents. Okay, and now let's look at, now that we know that 12 of the listings that we're going to sell, then the next thing we're going to look at is how many listings you need to take in order to get to the 12. So that how we're going to determine that number is you look at your goal last year, and let's say you sold 60% of the listings that you took that you sold. So now looking at that, number is going to be 20. And now as we look at this, let's say we go to your expireds and also cancels. And let's say last year in 2011, you had two listings that you expired and you had none that canceled. And let's say you only had one deal that fell through. Well, all we're going to obviously do is pump up the numbers a little bit as you've increased your goal because your chances for having more fallout will increase. Now that we know that you've taken 20 listings, the next step we're going to go to is appointments completed. How you're going to determine that number is we're going to work off a of 65%. So that should be a standard for you, and that's a minimum standard. So taking 65% of the 20 is going to give you 31 appointments that you're going to need to go on in order to take 20 listings for this coming year. Then we go back up one more, the appointment set. Now how we're going to determine that number is going to be 80%. Out of 80% of the appointments you set, you should be then at that point going on, uh, you should be going on 31 of those listings. So that new number is going to be now 39. So now we have 39 appointments set, we're going to have 31 appointments you completed, and then we're going to have 20 appointments that you're going to take, listings you're going to take for the year. So as you look at your model for this coming year, 2012, your numbers can work with you several ways. First of all, they're organic. As you're going through the year, if you're doing better in your business, obviously change up your plan. The bigger thing, the second thing you're looking at your numbers is, let's, you know, as you notice, some of these numbers seem a little high. They're going to be ba they're based on the following, what, how well you know your scripts, how efficient are you on your time that when you are lead generating, you're not having any distractions. And the final thing, too, is how your coach is going to help you through that process. So you, when your coach is working through with you with these numbers, they're going to be looking at those numbers and holding you accountable to the things that matter most. So are you spending time role playing and learning your scripts? So thank you for your time. I want to wish you a successful 2012 and look forward to celebrating that with you guys.